Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? It's your boy, Shiny D. Now, the first thing you might be thinking, oh, dude, I watched all these other vlogs and it was like beautiful backgrounds and shit. Yeah. Well, it ain't gonna be paradise every time, okay? This podcast is like a metaphor for life. Some days you're up, some days you're in the dingy dormitorial rooms hoping your roommates won't come in and sell you out as you eat your bowl of tuna like a grimy little sewer rat because the vegans are trying to take me out, man. I don't know if they believe in this diet or not. Your boy never knows. I, I never know if they believe in the vegan diet or if they're just trying to take the muscle-bound jock and just make it weaker and squeeze it out and squeeze it out so when Kool-Aid time comes, we'll be diving in. But guys, I'm gonna drink all the Kool-Aid. You're gonna be lucky if there's any Kool-Aid for anyone left after I get my giant Viking albino snout on it like a like a pale iridescent anteater. So this is what it's come down to. I'm just eating tuna in my room like a rodent. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I fucking did yoga. I'm doing Ashtanga yoga. So my roommate's like this badass Ashtanga yogi. Not any kind of yogi, okay? Because people are like, oh, namaste, you have a bun. I have a bun. We are all bun and we're bundiful together. That's cool, I guess. But I need some real shit. Like, my fucking yoga teacher, I'm gonna do a podcast with him. This motherfucker was like in solitary confinement, just doing his fucking practice in prison. That shit I fuck with. And he was an ex-MMA fighter. Because that's the kind of spirituality I like. I, I like the tangible shit. Like, I like meditation because I do it, I feel better. People start talking about crystals, and I just, my eyes just fucking crystal over, bro. And I'm like, yo, unless you're talking about crystal butt plugs, mouth skis. <laughs> so we're doing yoga every day. Uh, how's my physique look? Be honest, be honest, on a scale of one that uh, I'm coming, how does it look? We're experimenting with a little vegetarianism, I guess, maybe a pescatarian. Fuck, how annoying is it trying to like label like... What, what's worse, you think, somebody who identifies with their diet or somebody who identifies with politics? Call in if you know the answer to that one. I, I, I'm a like a... Uh, Give my body whatever the fuck it wants because I'm so in tune and so on the flow. Yo, I love fucking with people in this house. Sometimes I'll just like, I'll finish, I'll, I'll get a Red Bull because I'm a filthy spiritual animal. I'll get a Red Bull before uh, I've been teaching Cirque Fit classes here. I'm trying to do my Lotus. I've been teaching Cirque Fitness classes here, which are, which are badass fitness classes. I'm gonna put some of those up online. So I'm bringing that fire, bringing that fucking unapologetic. This would be a perfect time for the leader to walk in. Come in. Come in. The ceremony is about to begin. I wish I was the Lizard Queen. But everyone knows that demonic two of the DNC are good. Terribly sorry. What the fuck was I talking? Oh yeah, I like to freak people out here. So sometimes I'll get like a Red Bull before I'm teaching my class because I'm such a rebel like that. Oh, I'm a contrarian. I'm doing something different. Feels great. It's really authentic. And sometimes I'll finish the Red Bull, but I'll just keep some liquid in it <laughs> just so I can keep drinking it. And help people, because I want to help people transcend. Here's what I tell them, okay? This is great. They go, they're like, wow, you really want to put that in your body? And I go, brother, sister, it feels to me like you're very attached to this third dimensional plane. And now we all know through our own personal practice that attachment is the source of suffering. So... We must fully release attachment to what we think this is. This is why I'm doing the vegan diet. I've released attachment to feeling and looking good. Kidding, it's an experiment. We'll see where it goes. So I go, I really appreciate how much care you put in to your third dimensional form. But your boy's up on that fifth dimension, baby. We got air horns. Bah, 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 bah. I got mala beads. We got the chars, hashish. Boom! 
Shiva and my light body's doing like round off back tucks with flaming fire dick tassels and the whole thing, but like in a really super sacred spiritual way. And it only happens at 1111. Because people have been. Okay, so Tulum is all about marketing, baby. You can take a rave, just a normal, like standard <laughs> rave. But if you charge one 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 and say something about connection or unity or insert key generic word that you would use to like, you know, get people to click on buy your fucking retreats on Instagram or YouTube, you know, get those little tags in there. And you, you gotta charge one one one. People are obsessed with it. One on one, two two two, three three three. The magical synchronicity. It's like. Aww. <laughs> you know, I, your boy can relate. You know why? No one asked, but I'm gonna tell you why. Because when I had temporary, or not so temporary, it depends who you ask. If you ask my ex-girlfriend, I'm still out there. But uh, <laughs> when I was doing a ton of ketamina, I started losing my mind and losing my grip on reality to the point where I had, would have trouble walking down a street if there was any repeating numbers. I was like, oh my god, 2244, four, the divine encore, yes we want more. Yo, did I just slip an Eminem song in there? That shit's ill, dog. Eminem's the OG guru. In that song, Slim Shady, he was telling us we could, we were all Slim Shady. That was a song about unity, connection, and peace that the mainstream media took out of context. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a good Christian man. Yo, know, it's all about marketing, guys. So, in Canada, I was a male stripper. Not in Tulum. Here, I am a tantric masculine sexually empowered coach and in order to do my class i had to create origin story it is confusing his accent where is it from <laughs> do not worry about me my dear my sweet sweet lotus flower do not worry about the tone of my accent or my rippling muscles under my perfectly aimed light underneath my scarfs and my mighty rings. Okay, if you must know, I was up in the great mountains of the Himalaya where I had magical sex with the abominable snow monster. He's French now. I don't know what the fuck, but that's what it's about, guys. I gotta get some dreads. I need some doodads. Send your boy crystals, okay? We're going deep undercover. Undercover spiritual brother. I'm in the heart of it, bro. I'm in the heart of it because I believe in this shit so much. Well, not like the fucking Rico Swami marketing. That shit's just, bro. You gotta respect a good con, okay? A wise man like Tim Dillon once said, the hucksters, the scammers, the tricksters, Donald Trump, that crazy riverboat casino fucking captain. You gotta respect the grift, okay? Don't be hating. Somebody's wearing all white, and he's got that braid in his hair and a big ass fucking turquoise Flava Flav style bling bling piece. And he looks the part, but you see in his eyes, he's a punani hound dog. You just call him out. You hold space. You hold space for his teachings. Because we are one, you see that? Full circle microphone drop. There's a lot of opportunity here, guys. Fire dancer, ha <laughs> ha, new. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No longer a fire dancer. I am now a sacred fire bender master of Performial arts. I used to charge six hundred dollars in Canada. Here I charge seven seven seven. For it is the gateway to the heaven. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking marketing. So look around you right now. Maybe you're mad at all the people taking advantage of this pandemic, and I say don't be. The hand sanitizer guy at the starting. Amazon, the media. 
Because God creates both tragedy and success. And when we can align and synchronize other people's tragedy with our own success, we are truly doing the Creator's work. God, it was so simple. So, yeah, look around you. How do you get involved in this huckster behavior? Because the more money you have, you're more enlightened than them. Let's be fair. Let's be honest. So the more we get, the better the world's going to be. So, you know, keep that love conditional. No one likes somebody that gives something for nothing. You need to assign value to your love. You got to play to... You gotta play to pray, baby. <laughs> you gotta play to pray. So keep that love conditional. Keep scamming. Keep a trickin'. <laughs> Do all that shit, man. It's your boy, Shiny D. I'm not gonna apologize for the set. The paradise is what I deserve. The room is what you get. See what we did there? Value. You gotta fucking value. So what did we learn today? We learned about marketing. Learned about value, and we had a fun little insight of when I completely lost my mind and started to see all the numbers everywhere. But it's great, because from losing my mind, I understand more of the conscious community. Boom Sheba. Thanks for coming, you filthy animals.